Maybe it went a little under the radar on Monday afternoon, and it's not nearly as important as the AP preseason poll, but the USA Today coaches poll was released ahead of a new 2024 college football season on Monday afternoon. Again, the AP poll is our guide throughout the entirety of the regular season until November when we get the college football playoff rankings for the first time and then all get mad about what the selection committee has deemed most important. Believe me, we will be mad in the first year of a 12-team college football playoff as well. But here is the preseason coaches poll as we get you set for the 2024 college football campaign. Top 10 looks as so. Georgia, Ohio State, Oregon, Texas, Alabama, Ole Miss, Notre Dame, Michigan, Penn State, and Florida State. Now it's a new year, of course, and a new era in CFB. Conference realignment in the expanded 12-team college football playoff, the most notable changes to this college football landscape across the country. So you see the top 10, you're like, oh yeah, that looks pretty much what we expected, but it should be noted that it's four SEC schools, Georgia, Texas, Alabama, Ole Miss, four Big Ten schools, Ohio State, Oregon, Michigan, Penn State, One independent program, that is Notre Dame, and an ACC school rounding out the top 10, Florida State, there as it stands. As you go conference breakdown, nine SEC schools in the top 25 of the preseason coaches poll, six hailing from the Big Ten, and despite not having a team ranked inside the top 10, Five Big 12 schools round out the top 25. We'll get into that in just a moment. Four out of the ACC. And I do want to highlight a couple of the schools a little bit lower down in this poll. We know the heavy hitters. We talked about this. The odds makers really agree with the coaches poll, at least on preseason expectation. Eight of the top 10 from the Big Ten or the SEC. All 10 of the bet, uh, or nine of the 10 best prices to reach the CFP from the Big Ten or the SEC. Notre Dame, the only difference there. So what about the other teams that will factor into the landscape of this college football season in 2024? Well, let's talk about Utah, first and foremost. First year in the Big 12. Favorites to win the Big 12. Highest ranked Big 12 program at number 13 nationally. Kansas State and Oklahoma State also in the top 20 from the Big 12. K-State, second best price to win the Big 12. Keep an eye on Avery Johnson, the Wildcats quarterback, who I think is going to make some noise this year. Oklahoma State played in the Big 12 championship game last year, led by the nation's leading rusher, Ollie Gordon II. We heard that he will not miss any time for any suspension or discipline despite a DUI arrest earlier this summer. That's what Mike Gundy told us at Big 12 Media Days. Now let's go to the final five schools. Arizona, under Brent Brennan, a new head coach in Tucson, but a quarterback and wide receiver duo that can match anybody around the country Noah Fafita the signal caller Tetaroa McMillan one of the best wideouts in the country that maybe you have not heard of just yet Dave Dorn and NC State all they do is win they will be a factor in the ACC Lincoln Riley and the Trojans year number one in the Big Ten and then Iowa rounds out the top 25 consistency is key for the Hawks they are going to have either the best defense nationally, certainly ranking in the top five this year. Who's the program I skipped over? That would be the 24th ranked team in the country, Kansas. Again, this is the coaches poll. It's not the AP poll. The trend of the coaches poll in the preseason, not nearly as illustrious as we have for the AP top 25. But let's say it holds. By the time we get to Monday afternoon, August 12th, noon Eastern time, and we get the preseason AP top 25. And Kansas checks in as one of the 25 highest ranked programs around the country in college football. It will be the first time since 2009 that Kansas ranks in the top 25 in the preseason. The Jayhawks win total this year is eight and a half. The under heavily juiced at minus 170. Let's say the odds makers are correct and the expectation of eight wins at most is the right side. It would still be the first eight win season for KU since 2008. Let's say they go over eight and a half. It would be the first time with nine or more regular season wins since Kansas won the Orange Bowl and had a 12-1 season way back in 2000. 
and seven. If Jalen Daniels is healthy for KU in the program that Lance Leifold is built in Lawrence, Kansas will be a factor in the Big 12 championship race this season. When's the last time we talked Kansas football and preseason expectation? That's the reality now for KU. The early line returns tomorrow on a Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern time here on Sports Radio.